Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mitch, or Beijing and Canadian here with a very exciting mod showcase that I'm pleased to bring to you. It makes me very happy in the pants. So, let's go ahead and get into it. It is the Pixelmon mod showcase. It's the Pokemon revamped, basically, mod. That is a mod that was created ages ago, or similar to it, I guess, ages ago. It was a Pokemon mod, but this one is the same thing, but a hundred thousand times better. This mod is fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new world, and the first thing you'll notice when you make a new world is that once it's generated here, building terrain, it'll do this soon enough, my computer should be faster. Here we go, you're going to join, and it's going to say, welcome to the world of Pixelmon, thank you for installing this mod, now please pick your desired starter Pokemon. It'll give you Bulbasaur, Squirtle, Charmander, or you can choose Eevee. I'm going to go ahead and choose Squirtle, because Squirtle's a boss, and wow, what a terrible spawn. But that's okay, the only reason I was joining this world was to simply demonstrate the starting screen where you get to select your Pokemon. I'm going to go ahead and join the crafting recipes world that I've already set up, some chests, and chosen my Squirtle. I get to choose Squirtle again. Okay. Um, and it looks like there's a Cubone who already wants to fight me. I'm going to run because Cubone, I don't want to tussle with you right now. You stay over there, Bigums. Okay? Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> why you got to be like this, Cubone? Why you got to be like this? Um, we're going to run. And if you want to fight me again, I guess I'll go ahead and show this now since this Cubone guy's being a real jerk. Um, I can't escape, so I'm going to quickly click tackle, and this Cubone here, while my Squirtle comes to tackle, I'm also going to beat him up with my sword, because you can fight the Pokemon yourself, instead of fighting them with your Pokemon. So there we go, that's a little non-Pokemon battle, and they give you experience orbs, as you saw, I killed him, and I got some XP. Now please stay away from me, Sandile, I don't want to fight you. I'm trying to show people the crafting recipes. So there are five placeable blocks that come with this mod. You have the PC, which allows you to store Pokemon, like in uh, all the Game Boy Advance and all those classic games, where if you filled up your inventory slots, your six party mode Pokemon, you put it in the PC to store them, swap them out, whatever. And uh, that's what it looks like. Apparently, Kill and Cubone made me capture him. I'm very confused. I think that was a bug, because I definitely don't have a Cubone. I killed him. Um, maybe I just, did I just trash him on accident? I may have. <laughs> and then here's the healing station where you can put your Squirtle in to heal them, but my Squirtle's at full health still. And then here are three blocks. You have the Lightning Stone, the Leaf Stone, and the Water Stone. And here's what they look like in your creative menu. When you go to Miscellaneous, they're at the top here. Thunderstone, not Lightning Stone, sorry. Forgive me, forgive me all the Pokemasters out there. Thunderstone, Leaf Stone, and Water Stone, which uh, I'm assuming spawn randomly throughout the world in various places. And you can mine them and get these, these stones here that uh, allow you to evolve your Pokemon, which is pretty snazzy. Which is what you would use on Eevee if you had chosen her to evolve it into either Flareon, Espeonon, or... Ugh. I'm sorry guys, it's been a long time since I played Pokemon, I can't remember, but that's okay because that'll lead me to the next step, which I'll start over at this end of the crafting recipes, how you make a Pokedex. It's very simple, you can just follow this crafting layout. I'm not actually going to announce what each of these are. If you want to know the crafting recipes, you can pause this on screen or each time I open a chest to see what does what. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my Pokedex and let's see what Pokemon are currently in the game, or this mod, I should say. There are many. According to the online forum post, it says there's only 86, but according to this Pokedex, it has all the way up to 151, which is Mew and Mewtwo. And then if you keep scrolling through, there's random ones located throughout, which, I don't know. I'm, I'm a hoping? I know that Miltank is in this, so I'm not sure, because I saw one earlier. And I'm not sure the rest of these, if they're in here or not, but you never know, because then that means there are a lot more than 86. That means there's pushing 200 Pokemon, because of all these random ones throughout here. So, that's pretty cool. The Pokedex is supposed to have a counter of all the ones that are in here. And I think it has the exact same details that you would find in your Game Boy. And something that's also cool to take note of is the Pokemon are created, the, the actual figurines here, are made to scale size according to the actual like Wikipedia posts and stuff, uh, the descriptions I like, can hear of how big they're supposed to be. So, yeah, they're to scale, which is, I think, pretty cool. It's uh, a little bit different than normal, because in most of the Minecraft games, you don't actually get to see them walking around. You just see, like... Maybe a Snorlax blocking your path, and that's about it. So, yeah, that's that's the two first recipes here were for the Pokedex, and the other item I can show you is the Poke Checker. If you use the Poke Checker, which you first have to press O to get your Pokemon to be revealed, and or you, you, you press O to get a little, uh, I guess, brief statement of my Squirtle. As you can see, they're level 5, 19, health. And if I press P, which releases him out of his Pokeball, 
I can right click him with the Poke Checker and see some more in depth stats on him. Those are the moves he has. He's level 5. And you can also use this to give them a nickname. So I'm going to call this one Jerome's Nose. Although Jerome's Nose back in that original playthrough was a Bulbasaur, those of you who remember. <laughs> but I'll go ahead and call him Jerome's Nose, anyways. Although he's not, maybe the tail would be Jerome's nose. It's, I guess it's a reasonable size. So we're going to move on. We're going to continue. The next chest on the list here will give you the healer, the healing center that you'd normally find in your Pokemon Center, your PC. This is how you craft rare candy. This is how you craft a potion. And there are a lot of different potions. Let me just go ahead and show you in the miscellaneous menu. I'm sorry that I'm talking so fast, but when I get excited in the pants, that's what happens. There's, this is an incredible, incredible mod. And uh, so look, look at all these, look at all these different potions you can make. I don't, I don't feel like figuring out the crafting recipes because unfortunately the site doesn't, or, or the forum post doesn't give you the recipes on there. You have to either get a, an additional mod that gives you the recipes, and I'm not sure if it will even function with this properly. I haven't tested it, or you have to figure it out yourself. So I tried to figure out the most of these as I could, and uh, yeah. And then to craft the the PC, it's really simple. It's just a dirt block. And those of you who don't believe me, I know it sounds. Pretty, uh, pretty sketchy, and I know you could be skeptical. Dirt block gives you a PC. Lol. And uh, I'll just place it behind here for to lols as well. Perfect. Oh, I got, I got a lot of them because I'm in creative. Get out of here. I don't want you. Cool. They, they join up nicely too. It's like seamless. Like there's, there's not even a gap of air there. Beautiful. So we're going to continue down our crafting recipes. These are how you make the Pokeballs. You're going to want to do here. I guess I'll start down here for the Pokeballs. What you're going to want to do for the first three Pokeballs is you're going to need three iron ingots on the bottom. A button in the middle, and then coal dust. Coal dust is simply crafted, crafted, not crafted. By um, you're gonna need where is this? Where miscellaneous? No, here it is. You're gonna need coal, and it's very simple. You just stick it in a crafting thing, and it gives you four coal dust, which is enough for two pokeballs, or great balls, which is lapis lazuli on top, rose red. I know I wouldn't say this, but now I'm getting carried away here. Ultra ball is gold on top, and the master ball is the one that's different. You're gonna need to place three diamonds on the bottom, some obsidian on the sides, and purple dye on the top, and it will give you the master ball. So that is how the Pokeballs are crafted. That's what all the blocks look like. Nice little demonstration for you. And now let's get on to the exciting part. I'm going to grab me that rare candy. And since I'm in creative mode, I can stack them up. Let's go. Let's go, Squirtle. Yes, he leveled up. So your Squirtle wants to learn the move Water Gun. And now this follows the exact pattern of the normal Pokemon the way it's supposed to. So as you can imagine, this mod... He's like a full-blown game, and it would have taken forever to create Diglett. Why are you looking at me? Diglett, don't be aggressive. And that's one of the features in this game is some of the mobs have aggression attached to them. I'm not sure if he's just stalking me or if he's actually being aggressive. It's kind of it's a little scurry, to be honest with you. I'll give it a tail whip. I don't need that. And he evolved. Look at him. He's evolved. I'm going to make him into Blastoise. What is this next one? Rapid spin. Uh, whatever. We'll get rid of tackle. We don't need that anymore. And what do we want now? Protect? I don't need that. That needs protection. Water pulse. Ah, bubble. We'll get rid of bubble. We don't need bubble. Aqua tail? Yeah, we don't need that. Oh my god. We're about to level up. We're getting there. We're getting there. Skull bash? We'll get rid of rapid. Boom, baby! <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. Blastoise is here. I love it. Oh my god. This mod. So nostalgic. So awesome. Just, just pure amazing. And uh, so I guess... I'm going to recall my, my Jerome's nose, my Blastoise, real quick. And these guys look like they want to tussle. I'm not sure. Maybe they're scurred. A Numel. The fuck is a Numel? This has got to be one of those new Pokemon in the Pokedex towards the end there. Let's see. Numel, Numel. It would have been cool, though, if they made it so the Pokedex was like in the other Pokemon where you had to discover them. It wasn't filled out. But I guess it's cool, too, because I'm assuming they... they I mean, I guess the mod creators assume you know Pokemon when you're getting it, so... So it's I guess it's respectable because it's kind of just a way to show you what is in the game from what is not. So Numel, I'm looking for this here. Numel, yeah. And I'm assuming he evolves into Camerupt because it sounds like a camel name. That's pretty cool. I guess there are a lot more than 86. I guess they need to update their forum post because they've added like another close to a hundred, over a hundred I would say. Because it goes to 151 plus there's like another 20 randoms. Ah, here we go. Doug Trio, you wanna fight Blastoise? Oh, and here is the fight menu, the little scene you'll get. It'll bring up this menu, as you can see here, Jerome's Nose with 89 HP versus Doug Trio with 58 HP. Here are my moves to choose from, Water Gun, Water Pulse, Skull Bash, and Bite. I can also try and bag the Pokemon, and I can also try and run. 
and I can switch my Pokemon out, but I don't have any more. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to run. You saw me running from that uh, Cubone earlier. For now, I'm going to Skull Bash the Trick... I was going to say the F-bomb, but uh, got to be more family friendly. Going to gonna Skull Bash the, the son of a fucking bitch! <laughs> He's dead. One hit KO. Yep. Uh, you don't mess with Blastoise, people. No, you don't. And I guess I'm going to recover my Blastoise once again. The, the tool, or not the tool, the hot key for that is P. I'll go ahead and show you guys the controls if you're curious. Controls, there's a lot. So, um, let's see some new controls down here. Is Here we go. All the new controls are down here at the bottom. So that is pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and minimize that overlay. I'm going to bring him to the PC over here. Oh, look, see, there's a mill tank. I told you I saw one earlier. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to milk them titties. Give it to me. Lol. Whoops, wrong button. Uh, we're going to head over here. Go to our healer, and I'll demonstrate how you use it. Heal. Perfect. Full health. And then I'm also going to use a quick command. Time, set, day. And I'm going to grab myself some pokey uh, balls. Let's go ahead and grab, like, just a stack of each of them. Why not? We're going to have some fun. Yes, we are. Come to me. All right, we're trying to capture a Numel. Let's see what it looks like. Are we going to get him in a regular Pokeball? Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we've just captured him. He looks like he's in there tight and snug. No, he got out, you, you bastard. You've got no health. And uh, something that I want to take note of or, or let you guys take note of is that in previous versions of this, there was a bug where when you fought Pokemons and quote-unquote killed them or made them faint, they would still be walking around. But that actually has been fixed, so let me show you real quick. Uh, I, will, I guess I will throw my Blastoise and just eliminate this this cow here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Miltank. Water Pulse. And unfortunately, the animations, it's a work in progress. Oh, what? It survived? You are going to die. Now I'm going to bite you. Nom, nom, nom. See, he disappeared, and I cannot capture him. So you have to get them down to low health and then try and capture him. I'm going to try and use the normal bag technique right now, actually. So let's go ahead and recover you, Blastoise. And let's see if we can... See if we can bag something here. Maybe a, uh, maybe this Geo dude will survive. Hopefully, we'll see. Fight the Geo dude. You want to do it? Nope. Geo dude doesn't want to fight. He's too scared. Um, I'm gonna just fly around and see if I can find some cool rare Pokemon in the distance randomly. Um, actually, we'll try and catch. We already have a Numel though. I don't need another one. I was gonna max out my Pokemon slot so I could show you what it looks like. I'll, ca I'll try and catch this Doug Trio here. Here we go. P. Come on, fight the Doug Trio. Okay, I'll recover you. Whoops. So this is a very exciting mod. I'm going to go ahead and... Um, hold on, I'm trying to fight this Doug Trio. Bring it, you bastard. Stop running. I guess he's scared because he's not used to seeing flying Pokemon trainers. That would be pretty weird. Okay, so I'm going to... He's got a lot of health, so he should be able to survive this. We're going to bite him. Where's he running? I thought we were fighting. I thought we were fighting. All right, he has 28 health. Ah, I don't want to kill him, though. Um, water gun's probably going to kill him. We're going to try and bag him now. Use. Oh, whoops. Use. Um, what the heck? Do what? It looks like the bag is broken. I thought it was going to automatically throw a Pokeball. But, um... No, it's not. I guess that's trying to give me the choice between using potions if you had them. But unfortunately... This feature seems like it's something. Maybe it's me. I'm not, actually, I'm not going to say it's broken because maybe I'm just using it incorrectly. I hope not, but uh, I'm going to ignore it and we're just going to, I guess, uh, water gun and hopefully he'll survive and then I'll throw a Pokeball at him. And is he going to be alive? Nope. Oh, we killed him. I'm sorry. I guess I'll use my Master Ball. We'll catch a Diglett. Master Ball. Master D's nuts. Okay, we're going to capture you. We're just going to ditch blastoise come here uh we'll catch a geo dude why not come to me and the animation of the pokeball is pretty sweet if you really think about it like this mod in general it's a full-fledged game basically is what it would have taken to create this which is incredible to think from a mod developer's point of view it's a really really in-depth and i guess f pretty pretty flawless and seamless mod as it's been uh, continuously updated and and been given some tender love and care some nice tlc so I'm trying to find some other Pokemon out here. A Sandile? Never heard of you, but you look like a beautiful little lizard. I'll take you. What's down here? What is this? What do we have here? We have a, again, some po Pokemon I've never heard of. 
I want to get out of the desert. Ah, here we go. A swamp. Let's see what's in the swamp biome. What I have noticed, though, from previous, I guess, tests and flying around, is some of the uh, the Pokemon spawn, and it has nothing to do with you what, with what you'd think. Because I found Geodudes and Gastlys in, in forests. You'd think that would... And I mean, like, bright forests. Uh, you'd think they'd only spawn in, like, caves and things like that. But nope. They, uh... It's, it's just, from what I've gathered, pretty... Random. Oh, and there are there are water Pokemon. There you can find Gyarados and things in the water. I guess we'll capture one of these. Come to me, Sea King. Stop hurting yourself. There's a flock of Sea King in this little stream. That is beautiful, and that's why I love this mod. So in depth. There's so much to do. I'm gonna go find a Gyarados. Come on. What's down there? What's this? A Goldeen? I don't want you. Don't want you. I want to find Gyarados, please. Gyarados. Gyarados. I guess while uh, I'm trying to fly around and find this guy, really briefly, guys, I apologize. I'm going to hit um, pause, and I'm going to check the features really quickly so that I have a... Uh, yep, that's, I got it all in my head anyways. I didn't need to do that. I'm, uh, I, I'm overcompensating. Um, so, guys, some features that are really cool about this mod, and I'm surprised I haven't seen any yet, is there are actually trainers scattered throughout the world that randomly generate, so you can actually battle other trainers and... and I'm not sure if you get gold. I'm not sure if there's even gold in this yet. But I think it's a it's a very new feature that they're trying to extend upon. And something that they're going to be releasing soon, or what they're working on, is actually uh, spawnable buildings for gyms and poker centers and things like that. They're working on that. So it'll be almost like having real like Pokemon uh, Kanto here. And we're in the Kanto region or something. That'd be sweet. And I'm not I'm not having too much luck finding this Gyarados. It's not like I'm not finding any Pokemon here, period. What's going on? Don't make me poke a hoe. Don't make me go black man angry on this. Okay, um, this is a little uncool. Switch to hard mode. Maybe maybe that'll help. I don't know. Don't think so. It's because they spawn on peaceful too. I think I'm just having some bad luck here. Like field of dead Pokemon. Ah, here we go. It's another Tor Pinch or whatever. Maybe I was too high up. That must have been it. Oh, a wild Squirtle. You don't see that too often. I'll capture you. So I can have a baby for my Blastoise. And what's this, a Merip? I'll catch a sheep. Why not? And they're going to get stored in my PC, as you will see in a second here. It'll pop up with some text saying it was stored in your PC. You captured Squirtle. Your party is full. Squirtle has been sent to your computer. And I'll say the same thing for the Merip now. There you go. And now one thing that is the most exciting part of this entire mod and this entire showcase is that this is fully multiplayer yes you heard me this can be added to multiplayer minecraft very easily it doesn't even require you to have a bucket server which is awesome yeah buddy which means that uh, i will be doing a multiplayer <laughs> let's play on this with zach zach wants to do it with me so we're gonna make babies on uh, pokemon multiplayer so that is something to look forward to. If you're excited, please do leave a comment and let me know what we should attempt on our Pokemon journey. I believe what we're going to do is spawn or, or use the, like a Kanto, like a, an actual Pokemon world that someone has created. And we're going to play Pokemon in the Pokemon Minecraft land. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. And uh, if you're new to my channel and this is the first video of mine you've seen, I really encourage you to subscribe, especially for that Pokemon playthrough and for other mod showcases. I do have a mod showcase every day. And for my current subscribers, I know I've been slacking, but there will be one daily from here on out. And uh, something I guess I should also take note of is you're welcome to suggest mod showcases. I would really, really appreciate all suggestions. That's something that I'm going to do from now on. And I'm taking a page from the Jolly Old Brits. If you haven't seen their channel, I would highly recommend you do it. It's youtube.com slash fragmecinema. Something they've done in a lot of their mod showcases and things is they say, leave a comment with your Minecraft in-game name and they'll use your skin. So I'm going to do that from now on. So in the next Minecraft showcase, it will be a suggestion from the comment section and I will also be using your skin. So instead of business poo, it'll be whoever has created the suggestion, which is something cool that to look forward to. So what you need to do is leave a comment saying what mod I should showcase next as well as your Minecraft in-game name so I can get your skin and put it on if I choose your mod comment. 
So that is about it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let's see if we can hit 1,111 likes for an awesome, awesome mod showcase, as well as that upcoming walkthrough or playthrough with Zach and I. That's something to look forward to. And you can also leave a comment, I guess. I feel like I'm being one of those comment horror video people who just, they don't even make proper videos. They just complain and then ask you to leave comments for every other thing. But seriously, I'm excited for that playthrough. And if you have any suggestions, and I guess I'll, um... I'll bring that up as well, but if you have any things you want me and Zach to do that you really want to voice right now in the comments, then feel free to do so, and we will definitely take it into consideration in our Pokemon adventures. So, that's it. My rambling is officially over. I think I, I, think I did a pretty solid job on this showcase. It was a one-take thingy, so uh, good. We're going to explore this cave really briefly. Maybe there'll be some Pokemons, and uh, probably not. So, that has been it for the mod showcase of Pixelmon. I thank you all so much for watching. I love you a long time. Take care.